Hey guys, it's Lydia here from Creative Studios. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be testing out some of Tesla's golden PLA filament. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so to start off, um, this company, Tesla Filaments um, Robotics, I think that's what their name is, um, sent me this filament and it is a gold and it says it's silk on the side here. So on the box, it just lets you know the brand name, um, the filament color and um, type of filament, uh, the weight, the diameter, um, recommendations and where it's made. This is made in Israel, which is really cool. Um, so let's just open the box. And so what we get inside is a vacuum sealed, just plain spool, no openings here. So again, it just comes in a airtight bag. It doesn't look like there's a desiccant pack in there. There's nothing in the middle. Um, and so let's just open it up. This um, filament is wrapped with saran wrap, as you can kind of see here, just like protopasta does with their filaments so that it doesn't unwind and get loose, and it also keeps it airtight. So pretty sure that's why there's no deskin pack in there was because this was wrapped. So I'm just going to unwrap this, try to find the end. So just unwrapping it. You can kind of see um, right here that the winding isn't very straight on these spools, which is a downside. Um, that means it probably doesn't have the same diameter all throughout. It's just a really bad winding. So Tesla, that is a um, improvement you could do with your filament. But I really like the color. It is an actual gold color, unlike the other PLA um, filament that I have from Matter Hackers that should be gold but it's more of a yellow color. And this is a silky filament, just like it said on the box. And um, it also says it on here, silk feeling PLA. And it acts just like um, Unico Phil's silky rainbow filament. It is a kind of softer PLA feeling. Um, I'm not really sure why silky feels like that, but um, the spools you can hear are really tight, wound. Um, I don't really know how this spool fits it together. It looks kind of confusing. It might just clip together, but I will have to find that out after I finish this entire spool of one kilogram filament. Uh, so let's just jump on the printer and test out how cool this filament prints. So a couple days have passed and I have printed all of these prints. I'll lift it up here for you guys. Um, so I printed a little rocket ship, two of my maker coins, um, just because one of them didn't turn out the best. 
um, this really cool vase kind of thing. And I, uh, I will show you guys up close what all these look like. A um, astronaut fill. My brand new four set cookie cutters. And then the gold parts on my um, fabric. So let's check these out close up. So first starting off, like always, is this maker coin. Now like I said before, I did print two. This was my first one. As you can see, it turned out really crappy because I did not have the fan on. Um, sometimes my fan doesn't come on right away. So um, as you can see down here, the overhangs are really bad. And then under here, but I did reprint a coin and this one turned out a lot, a lot better. Um, I really like how it turned out. As you can see this shiny part from the silk part in the filament. These walls did okay. Um, you can still see some of the layer lines I have from my printer. The bottom layer looks great, just like all my other prints. Again, on my glass bed with some glue stick. Now, these overhangs under here didn't do as best as I thought they would. Um, I did have the fan on with this one. It's just, um, with the support, it didn't turn out the best. And there was some little beading here. I'm not really sure why, but that's just how it turned out. The final top layer looks really good. Um, it did, does kind of look over here. A little extra filament was pushed out, but overall I'm really liking the shiny gold on this maker coin. So my second print were these two squares right here of fabric. Now in my other video of my brownish maroon filament, as you can see I printed these. Now I finally connected them using my 3D Simo pen and I will make a video on making this fabric later on. But I really like again how this finish on the bottom printed. Um, it prints like this like I told you in the last video but um, it printed wonderful. Now this filament's like a lot durable than my other PLAs. I'm not really sure if that's because of the silky stuff they put in the filament when they make it, but it is a really strong and like heavy thick filament. Next, I printed this bigger astronaut fill. Now I really like how this turned out. This has two perimeters, but it is completely hollow. Um, and I think it turned out a lot better hollow like I also said in my other video, um, all these lines you can barely see. It's really nice and smooth. It's very shiny as you can see the glare from the light. Um, the bottom layer turned out really nice and the overhangs under here are perfect, even underneath the legs here. And everything just looks very shiny and pretty silky smooth. Next, I printed all of these cookie cutters. Now I will be selling these cookie cutters in a set of four for $12 or one cookie cutter for $4. And in the set, I will have red, white, green, and a gold. So there will be a different color gold one in each set so that you can collect all the gold ones. So these are what the gold ones look like. Um, I enlarged these bigger than the, what they were supposed to be. But the first layers did pretty good. You can kind of see I was a little far away from the bed here. I had some problem over here, but I really like how these turned out. And again, these are super heavy and durable, so they shouldn't break. So the next print I printed was this really cool spaceship. Now this was printed in vase mode, which made it turn out really nice. And again, it is hollow because it is in vase mode. Um, and I've never printed one of these. I've seen a lot of people print these, and I just decided to test it out. And it looks pretty cool to me. Uh, I like uh, you can see all these details in the bubbles, but I did have a little problem up here. Um, I'm not really sure what happened, but there was a tiny bit of gapping right here. I don't really know how that happened, um, but that is basically the only defect in this print. So I'm really liking how this vase mode turned out. My final print that I just took off the bed um, is this really, really cool vase. Um, I printed this in vase mode and it is super duper durable. Um, it's a lot stronger than I expected it to be with vase mode. There is no infill because it is in vase mode, but it's just this really cool zigzag kind of effect. And um, 
I'm just really impressed by all this filament and how it printed with this nice silky finish. And I'm just really, really happy I'm getting to print with this. All right guys, so that is it with all of these prints. Again, I had a lot of fun um, printing with this nice gold silky filament. Another big thanks to Tesla Filament for sending me this filament. Um, I've never printed with this nice gold color filament um, and this pretty nice silky smooth filament besides my rainbow filament from Unicode Fill. Um, so I really hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that like button. You can share this video with your friends and family. Again, I had a lot of fun printing with this and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.